although this 3,000 foot mountain climb may have been a challenge, it pretty much pales in comparison to the challenge that a person has to deal with on a daily basis if they don't have access to prosthetic care. Every day of our ride, especially during difficult times, it's kind of the solace that I have is thinking of uh, some of Brown's patients and the difficulties that they've gone through before receiving prosthetic care. The mission of the Range of Motion Project, ROMP, is to provide prosthetic limbs and orthotic braces to those who cannot afford or do not have access to these services, empowering them to actively contribute to their families and communities. ROMP provides prosthetic limbs, orthotic bracing, and training throughout the developing world. The main facility is in Zacapa, Guatemala, and consists of a full-service prosthetic and orthotic laboratory with locally trained technicians and an administrative staff. The professional staff employed by the Range of Motion Project in Guatemala treats patients with all levels of amputation and of all ages. ROMP recycles gently used prosthetic limbs donated by amputees across the United States in order to create custom-made, high-technology prostheses that improve the quality of life of our patients and help them to regain their independence. Riding for ROMP 2010 was created by Greg Krupa and Pat Lefay. Its purpose to cycle more than 4,000 miles from Eugene, Oregon to the Rump Clinic in Zacapa, Guatemala, while raising awareness and more than $25,000 for patients worldwide. Rump cyclists set out to honor the strength and determination of the more than 1,000 patients that Rump has served since 2005. of elusive rattlesnake pass.
every time that I uh, look in the mirror, it's like Christmas morning. That was, that was so inflated. I feel very comfortable with my body and strength. It's very nice right now. Late in the day here in the desert, the vultures are circling. Cielo una jarita de queso blanco 